this is into the fire. I'd like to welcome to Into the Fire, the dangerous Ford, creative and explosive midfielder, great overhead mark, Western Jets gun, Eddie Ford. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Thanks, Liam. Thanks for having me on. No worries. Now, you're the ultimate impact player, a guy with so much X Factor. Have you always been so good? What were you like as a junior? Um, that's a pretty good rap. Um, yeah, as a junior, I, I sort of was tossed around a bit. So that's where my, you know, sort of uh, natural ability comes from. I was able to, you know, go down back, um, play a bit of forward and, yeah, throughout most of my junior career, um, play on the ball. So, yeah, I, I think that, um, yeah, being able to play in all different positions um, has given me a, you know, a good advantage over other players. Sort of um, one of my main things when I'm, you know, playing a footy game is just to be a hard opposition player. So, you know, so, you know, the defender to um, have a tough day on me. Uh, so, yeah, I think I wouldn't say it's, you know, um, <laughs> just so good that, yeah, I've had to yeah, put a fair bit of work into it. Um, yeah. A lot of running work, so... Yeah, just all that, all sorts of fits into one thing and, yeah, just go out and play footy. Yeah, it's good to be experienced in all areas of the game. Yeah, it's now, pretty no. Yeah, it is. Now, you're in for a big 2020. COVID killed off that year. What did you do during this time to keep yourself ready for a possible or, should I say, probable AFL call-up? Um, yeah, so it's not, not an ideal um, start of the year, sort of. Um, got a lot of pre-season running under my belt, a lot of pre-season strength under my belt. Um, even played a couple of games and was unfortunate to get caught off. But yeah, I think sort of through the you know the quarantine period and the, the lockdown stuff, I was able to stay pretty motivated. Um, yeah, I still knew that there was an end goal to um, achieve, and that's you know try and play AFL. So um, yeah, just lo staying locked in, keeping the gym work up. My brother and I. Uh, built like a sort of home gym out at the back, so I was able to use that pretty often. And yeah, I got a few programs. Uh, ben Benson, South East Speed, um, good mate of mine, and offers you know a lot of stuff, especially up to the up to one. Um, gave me a lot of stuff in my two K to work on, and yeah, the Jets and Vic Metro have been you know providing me with programs, Matt Glossop, all those blokes, uh, making sure that I'm up to standard. Yeah, sounds good. Now, you're a dead set showstopper. Your highlight reel is already a mile long. Let's not be modest. What are you more chance of getting? Mark of the year or goal of the year? Or maybe both? Oh, I would love both. That'd be pretty pretty cool. Um, I reckon mark of the year, though. I'm more, uh, I think I'll take a few more marks and I do kick goals, uh, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, that's a pretty good rap again. Um, yeah, I would love to win Mark of the Year, the goal of the year. It's a good achievement. Yeah, it's a little side thing. Um, but, yeah, as long as the team's getting the job done, it's all that matters. So, yeah. Yeah. If I'm a recruiter and I'm looking at you in the draft, what do you want them to know? By the way, if I was, if I was I'd be taking you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I hope uh, other recruiters say that as well. But, um, yeah, I think one of the – sort of main things in my game is my versatility, like I said before. I think I'm um, just being able to play anywhere on the ground and um, being thrown around. I think uh, the balance of my game in terms of inside and outside game, uh, my height and weight is, um, you know, pretty good. You, know, you don't always have a lot of blokes out of my height that can play on ground, um, similar to me. So, yeah, if I'm able to go up for a mark and it comes down and I can hit the ground running, um, is, is pretty good, I guess, for recruiters. And then, yeah, um, being able to get on the scoreboard um, every now and then is pretty good as a forward. And, yeah, I think my uh, sort of, you know, development into the system could be, pr you know, pretty good. Uh, I think I've got a long way to come. Um, got a lot more stuff to do, um, build running capacity, you know, get stronger and stuff. So, yeah, I think just the balance of versatility, um, you know, little things in my game, tackles, not just laying a soft one, but laying a hard one and stuff. So, yeah, all that. Yeah, definitely. Most people would be happy to be the most exciting forward talent, but not, not, no, you want it all, don't you? How true is it that you got tapes of Nat Fife to study him? Not a bad player to model your game around. Yeah, uh, I did actually. So that was a bit earlier in the year, um, during the lockdown period when it was 
not a whole lot going on. So I asked um, Freo and the blokes down there, even a couple other clubs as well, um, which uh, got back to me for Isaac Heaney um, from Sydney. And uh, I think it was someone else. I forget, forget the other person. But, um, yeah, Nathan Fife and Fremantle were um, you know, kind enough to give me their vision of of his game, and I sort of asked for that stuff to be around his forward craft, his midfield craft, little things like how he gets away from opponents, um, what he does to separate himself in the forward 50, and, you know, normally take uncontested marks, and if not, um, take a strong grab. So, yeah, that was pretty helpful for me. Um, it was about a six-minute video, so it had a fair bit of clips in it of him, um, even his ball use and stuff. So, yeah, it was quite handy, actually. It's good. Would have been. He's a good player. There aren't too many guns. Yeah, he is. There aren't too many guns who would go out of their way to watch things like running patterns of players. Do you think this drives me the very best? Is what drives you forward? Are you one of those guys like Selwood who just loves to watch lots of footy? Um, no, I wouldn't say I love to watch footy too much. I sort of, um, you know, footy's footy, and I love it and stuff. And I love going to training. I love playing games. Love interacting with the blokes and stuff. Um, but there's also an outlet. Um, for me, it can't just be footy, footy, footy. You'll probably get, you know, it'll play too much in my mind and stuff. So I try to, you know, do other things. Um, I'm about to finish school, which is pretty good. And I'm, you know, hopefully looking to go to uni as well. Um, after that, whether or not footy does work out. Um, a lot of clubs, you know, sort of, uh, you know, push players to go learn something. Maybe not in the first couple of years, but, you know, their fourth or fifth year maybe or something, they'll take on, you know, a business role or, a, uh, you know, something to do at university, which is pretty good. But, yeah, I think I love footy and I love watching it. But, yeah, I, w I wouldn't say, um, you know, a footy nerd or something. So, um, yeah, I try to try to get as much games as I can. In. And uh, when I'm watching games, I'll often, you know, rewind the TV or dad will or something just to point out some good things. And, yeah, especially when that fast on, I love to watch him play. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. What were you doing at uni? At uh, uni, um, so I've applied for a few things. Um, one of them is international business degree, which is just, you know, studies around business um, and internationally. And one of the years as well is a uh, year in uh, a business in the city, so working at some company. Um, not sure how that will look if I'm playing AFL, but, um, yeah, something to do with the business side, something in commerce as well, just something in commerce, and um, computer science. So a bit of, you know... What we're using now, the people who do the stuff on, you know, the code to make it happen. Um, so all that stuff in cyber security. So, yeah, a bit of computing, a bit of uh, business is what I want to look into. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, you played in the Under-17 Futures All-Star Game and showed what a talented player you are. What was that experience like? And did it really show what you were capable of? Um, yeah, well, to start off, it was pretty unreal. Um, anyone who gets out on the MCG at a pretty young age is uh, probably feel pretty happy about themselves. So, um, yeah, it was a great experience. Um, you know, great game as well. We got the win and, um, yeah, I don't think I played too badly, according to a few people. So, um, yeah, it was a really good game and I think it showed why I can do it my best. I feel like my first sort of half was, you know, pretty good. I had a couple of goals in the first quarter, um, about eight touches or something as well. So, yeah, I think my, you know, first half of the game was pretty good. I would have liked to have had a bit more of an impact in the second half. But, yeah, I think that shows what I can do to recruiters, um, you know, at my best. So, being able to stay consistent and hopefully play that sort of quarter through all the quarters um, would be awesome. But, yeah, it was a good day. Mm, yeah, it would have been a good experience. Now, you were the only male Western Jet invited to the test at this year's AFL Draft Combine. Did you know any Did you know any other guys there? And who did you get on well with outside of your own club? Yeah, um, well, I know all the big Metro boys pretty well. Um, I spent the last oh, three or four years with them. Um, through the under-16s Metro team, um, I was a part of the under... 18's Metro Hub as a bottom major and then this year as well and last year I was a part of the top age one as well. So um, yeah, I've been pretty full on with the Vic Metro stuff and been lucky enough to be a part of those squads, which has been handy and been good to learn off the, you know, 
which are now drafted players, you know, Matty Rowe, Noel Anderson, um, Ralph Smith, Sandy Boys, all, all those blokes, which is good. Um, but, yeah, I think, yeah, getting along with those boys isn't too much of a hassle. Um, you've been in the rooms with them together. I slept with a few of them. Barry Laurie is a good mate of mine uh, from Oakley. Very good bloke. Um, you can't really hate on any of them. They're uh, all your teammates and they're all nice fellas. They've all got good morals and good ethics. Um, you know, being brought up in that sort of environment, um, they want you to, you know, not only come out as a better footballer, but come out as a, as a better person as well. So, um, yeah, they're all really nice blokes and, yeah. Yeah, they're good guys. The only knock on you is your consistency. I did have a laugh when I read this quote. I don't want to blame my team, but the ball wasn't always down in the forward half. So it could be a bit hard to find the foot. Here, I'll say what that really says. Bloody hell, boys. I'm freezing down here. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it does get a bit quiet. Um, I don't, don't want to lie. So, yeah, but I guess a few games last year, yeah, just sort of the team didn't really get near it and it was hard to get, you know, entries inside 50. And if they were entries, it was normally, uh, you know, a worm burner or something, a bit of a mongrel. So, um, it's not something I, I like to say or like to blame sometimes, but yeah, consistency can sometimes, you know, be, uh, you know, the catalyst, not getting the ball up to the forward, um, sort of damages my game from an individual perspective. So, um, yeah, the Jets did pretty well last year though, uh, made a semi final and um, didn't get the job done, but yeah, we had a good run. But yeah, just a few games where I think recruiters might have been able to pick out some, you know, low lights, I guess, would be the ones where we got pumped and um, didn't find too much free down the forward half. And that was when I was, you know, sort of wanting to play midfield a bit more. Um, but yeah, didn't get the gig last year, unfortunately, which would have been nice, but yeah. Now, we know you're a superstar forward and will be elite as a mid. Do you have a preference? I suppose you could always be like Dusty, Fife and Danger and do it all. Yeah, uh, those sort of blokes are what I want to play like. Um, Danger, Fife, Martin, all, you know, six foot two plus, uh, you know, 85 to 90 kilos and uh, really solid blokes and they can run as well. So um, that's sort of what I aim for at the moment. So my, my body size, um, you know, I'm 190 now and about 83 kilos, 84 kilos. And um, I just still work on that running capacity. But yeah, that's what I aim to, you know, sort of become like, being able to play midfield, have a rest forward, come back in midfield when the team's needed, um, go down forward when the team's needed. So, yeah, just being able to play forward and back and, you know, provide a bit of spark for the team, a bit of drive through the midfield is, uh, yeah, what I'd like to be doing in the future or what I want to develop into. Yeah, it would be good. Here's some different questions for you. If a cameraman walked into your room right now, how would they find it? It's actually fairly clean. I am pretty... Um, <laughs> I'm pretty clean and, um, you know, got a bit of OCD about me. So I could actually show you if you want to be honest. If you, do you want to see right. it? Not? Sure. Yeah, it's uh, fairly clean. It's not as best because I just got home not too long ago. But, um, yeah, it's got my bed here, a couple of stuff on the bed. Um, shoe rack down there. Not too bad. Uh, a couple of well and here's just a bit of jewellery and uh, stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. It is That's fairly clean, and if the cameraman walked in here, he'd be happy, I reckon. Yeah, it's fairly clean. You have to go for a first date. What's your go-to? For my first date? Yeah. Um, I don't want to say the movies because everyone says that. I think... I honestly haven't thought about this here. <laughs> it's a good question. Um, I think I'll just take, you know, whoever the lucky girl is... Um, for a spin, maybe, just go for a bit of a drive, get to know her. Um, yeah, probably go to a you know a nice restaurant or something, um, have a good meal, and after that, I don't know, to be honest, just come back home, have a few drinks, maybe, and then, um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. If you, had question, to play if you had to play a superhero in a movie, who would you choose? Um... I don't know. I would love to mix them. That'd be unreal. That'd be good. But I think I'd go with Green Lantern. Um, don't ask me why, but you, you can kind of do everything. Um, 
he, he just like builds things with his hands and like uses his laser beam eyes to you know defeat his opponent. So I think he's would be pretty reliable if he had his sort of if he had his attributes on you. Um, yeah, being able to build anything or throw anything is pretty handy. So yeah, I'd probably go to Green Lantern. It would be pretty cool being like him. Yeah. You get to invite one person over for drinks. Who would you invite? Uh, Richie Benno, oh, yeah. um, former cricketer, um, unfortunately passed away. But yeah, I think he would be a lovely, you know, a wise person to talk to. Um, could tell you some, you know, pretty funny stories. Is a quite a humorous, humorous guy. So yeah, I, I would love to have you know Richie Benno around. I used to play a lot of cricket as well, so that's why I like him. And sort of, um, yeah, I can, I can be unreal. Yeah, he would be a cool guy to have around. Well, Eddie, for me, you're the man. A guy who supporters buy tickets for. A guy who people go to the footy to see. The big marks, the amazing plays, and the incredible goals. But there is one thing that worries me. You see, you're going to be a superstar. I know it. But you can't be awesome without a celebration to suit. Don't you dare kick goal of the year and stand there without one. I'm here for you, mate. Give them the into the fire. That's good, mate. I'm after to use that one. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give it a try? Awesome. How was it? You just go... Do it again? <sighs> yeah. I'll use that right. one. For that. When right. you get goal of the year, you should use that. I'll try, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, Eddie, I can't thank you enough for chatting to me today. I can't wait to see which club gets the human highlight reel. Good luck in the draft, buddy. That's awesome. Thanks for that. You've got a you know, great future ahead of you. So keep it up, mate. Thanks awesome. so much. Thanks for your... Thank you. Thank you, brother.